Hello, welcome to another episode of Global Pro's Rethink the Future. So in today's podcast, I'm going to be looking at uh, the emergence of culture um, and the way how um, this emergence will occur uh, when you're potentializing our time beyond the economic good that we take it for. And this has a lot to do with temporalizing place, but we're going to give context to the way how temporalizing place works. So it works outside uh, the market. They're all unmarkets in this regard, but it also occurs within the business. So um, we're going to be looking at the way how a temporalizing place in the manner of, of that actually uh, engenders permeability within the business or on the, I should say, on the, the boundary of the business between uh, the actual culture that it's in to actually um, disinhibit the, eventually the business towards the culture where it actually permeates it in such a way that there's hardly any distinction uh, between the business and the culture because, you know, this is ultimately what it's orientating towards. Now, uh, if we're orientating ourselves towards anything for life, it's life, it's just the way it's just the way towards that but we're problematizing and that's what we're always doing. So um, that's essentially what we're going to be dealing with uh, today. So we've talked about it prior about the way how the exception can work against the current paradigm in the sense of removing, you know, our wants that are considered primary uh, because money is a given. So obviously you remove the want or the exchange by removing money to potentialize the economic good of your time, which is considered to be the preeminent good that underwrites any want in order for it to be potentialized in a, in a myriad of ways. You know, ultimately it can engender cynicism, you know, it can engender the space necessary to question in the manner that opens um, the person up to possibility that otherwise they wouldn't see. And this is what we pre presuppose when we're advocating that as a way of business to orientate towards a person not as a consumer, but as a person. And the reason why it's, it's important because it's initiating step to potentialize uh, the two markets that are separate out in order to collapse them in to make no distinction between them because you're always addressing people as people as an end in that regards and not as a, a means towards an end. So a consumer to a, a customer is always a means towards an end of a business objective. Now, if business considers its objective is just a money making exercise and there's n and then it limits so when it does that it's just limiting its understanding of of human action it's considering human action is not inherently creative but is defining human action as economizing all right and so if it's economizing it's kind of economizing towards what well, towards the way how life is given. Because if you think that what underwrites it is that everybody's orientated towards life, and this is the whole point, it doesn't have to be anything else other than that. That's what we can presuppose for every single person that's on the planet. I mean, you know, you don't have to go, it's just about person kind of accumulating wealth because if they're accumulating wealth, it's their understanding of the life that they can secure to accumulating wealth. So it just presupposes their understanding of what constitutes life. All right, this is the whole thing about it. So, if, and I always say that if that you're orientated towards uh, independence as the, the exemplar for life, well, then what you potentialize is hired help, really, at the end of the day. That's all you do. So, when you're looking at because you've individualized your pursuit of life in such a manner that, in that regard, if you, you're really considering independence as, as a good, uh, and so therefore as a good that's that's consumable and so therefore is engendered out of the market. And you only have to think of what that means to understand that you don't potentialise the relation beyond want. This is a whole problem about it when you presuppose that for yourself. It's the under, it's the it's a thing that's not even acknowledged, as it were, because if we are market orientated and if we if if we are orientated whereby um, the preeminent good underwrites our wants, but because money is given, our wants are primary, and we never are potentializing our time beyond the economic good that we receive it as, then we can never potentialize the relation beyond the want that it's given for. This is the whole you know, nature of our way of life. So when you're looking at engendering a culture in that scenario, you are looking at it from the aspect, okay, if at the moment want is primary because money is given, we need to flip that in order for... Um, for creativity to be primary, 
uh, time has to be given. So it's the time given to allow this thing to unfold. So time in this context is not time. The equivocation of time equals money is being broken. It's time. It's time as an economic good, the way how you receive it, but you're receiving your time as marginal. We're trying to potentialize your time as indivisible. Now, if you do that with other people, a marginal way how you do this with other people is what makes it indivisible because then you're cre creating a, a dynamism with other people that through the marginal way how your time is given to you you're creating a movement a cultural phenomenon that makes it indivisible with the time given i keep on going back the time given why because because creativity is presupposing you're harnessing the full creative scope of your agency and you know it's not defined through what you can buy or what you can sell so you're a consumer or you're a, a, a labor so when you're looking at that scenario of the emergence of culture potentializing a person with the exception of the way how business would do that so therefore um, going completely the opposite way is the way how that would orientate towards you as a person is define your agency through you being a consumer and a potential customer so to make an exception of your want in that scenario is to potentialize uh, your time in order for you to consider what you truly value but then to do that is to then also to engender another question that actually has more to do with the way how things are given the how our way of life for you to engender that questioning and that engendering of a questioning is obviously presupposes the what we're what we're talking about is the opportunity cost of what we're doing which is the opportunity cost of the way how businesses are engaging you only as a consumer rather as a person so all of this is about potentializing the ability of a person to see Okay, this is what it's orientating toward. It all kind of, it's all given within the, the, the potential of an exchange or the gap. It sits there, but it, it what is open to you, you know, what you are disinhibited towards in that gap will depend upon where you are. It's still there. It will always, everything that I talk about of what can emerge out of that is always there. It's never, never not there. It's only not there. It depends upon where you are in that regards. All right. So where we are, we're market orientated. So we've got a, I'm working off the basis that nobody knows shit. Really, really, that's which, which is obviously what we're doing because I am trying, the only thing I'm doing in this written, in this regard when i'm doing talking doing these podcasts is just to get people to think about the opportunity cost and to try kind of work through it through the questioning so maybe with all my ramblings that something might bloody make sense i mean who knows but anyway so um let's think of so if you've got the so the business has made a, the exception of you being a consumer so potentializing you as a person okay so in that regards that you're always as a person so it's it's about the opportunity cost for therefore to 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 lend your support towards the initiative the initiative is other businesses that are doing it that are all orientated towards the same end as that regards okay so what what's happening there is that when you're looking at taking the potential, all right, so potentializing your time beyond the economic good in order to temporalize uh, place, you're temporalizing place outside in the fact of what would be the community. So if other people were also inclined and they wanted to contribute their time once again to create an event that is like a celebration of that community, then what you're doing is that you're, you're temporalizing the place with other people that are orientated towards the same creative kind of uh, scope of an event or whatever, okay? So let's just think of what that means, all right? That's outside the context of the market. It's unmarketed, all right? It's marginal, still marginal in the way how it's given because it works by degrees and this is the nature of the way how the thing emerges, all right? It's marginal to the, the extent. How, why is it marginal? Because want is primary. So the more that you do it, the more that creativity becomes primary and that marginal way of temporalizing place lessens over time. This is the, the way how you're thinking about a threshold or the liminal space that you traverse when you, you, you do it. This is the way how you can frame it to understand what I mean. You're going from one to the other, but the nature of that, it's the time given. Time given, you're removing time as an economic good, as a constraint. It's about the art that's orientated towards facilitating this art. So it's a way of life. It's an artful way of life. This is where it's orientated towards. All right, so that's just the scenario of a... Of a um, an event. Think of now uh, the way how businesses are orientating towards, depending on the business, if they're, let's say that they're, they realize that maybe that they, they're, you know, in order to get the most out of their, um, 
their employees. They can't the, – the, the place where people have to work, they want, they want their um, – people want to work somewhere where they want to go to work, okay? They want to be motivated to go to work, okay? They want to be inspired um, or they want to feel that they're contributing in some manner, okay? Now, what does that mean when we're putting it in context like that? So you can think of the nature of what would the business in that regard have to offer – a person for them, essentially what they do, um, for them to, to want to, to be really happy towards doing their job in a way that they're contributing to something. Now, obviously, people will want to be contributing uh, uh, beyond themselves. So not only beyond what the business can do, but they feel that they're making a difference within the world. That's what everybody kind of to a certain degree aspires to. It's about legacy, all right? It's a, it's a legacy of our actions. So if you think of sustainability or anything else like that and a trend, it's just about the legacy of your actions. So when you are in a business and the business say has a purpose beyond actually the the commercial orientation what it is it's a it's a really a, and i'm look i can be cynical when i approach a lot of stuff that business does because it presupposes that they're differentiating themselves in order to potentialize the internal market for uh labor that they have to compete with other businesses and so therefore they're trying to address you as a person the same way that they're trying to address you as a person in the consumer market, but they presuppose you being a consumer first potential uh, customer, here, are they addressing you as a person? Or are they only addressing you as an employee? As much as that they'll say, as much as that they'll say that they are, is because everything is orientated towards that. But the he- issue here is, is if, if what's driving um, the adoption of meaning, okay, in that regards, Work back from where, why is it that people want more meaning to what they're doing? Where is that coming from? This is the one thing about it. It's, so that's a symptom of our way of life. If people feel a sense of meaninglessness and then business takes it upon itself to create a market for meaning, the want of meaning, it's not for meaning, it's want of meaning. It's like, you know, the wellness kind of industry because it's not necessarily focused on wellness, it's the want of wellness, okay? There's a, there's a distinction between the two because the thing is that this is the issue. If want is primary because money is given, then how can you ever address the under? underlying cause all right it's clear it's as simple as that because the, the nature of the question that you are posing with what you can do is you're not going to the heart of the matter because you're not questioning our way of life that engenders meaninglessness and if you're not doing that you're not potentializing people's time in a manner where you are engaging them as a person okay this is the whole thing. And there's a, it might say, and they're all like I always say, it's always very marginal. But the marginality of that, the world of difference that you create when you're potentializing the way how you're going about to, orientating yourself towards a person as a po- person to potentialize the economic good of their time is absolutely critical. And like I said, the distinct, the, 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 um, the difference can only be um, considered over time, the time given beyond the economic good that we accept our, so, um, accept our time for. So in the regards to like, so the, the way how a business would look at uh, their values, so or think of all, they're all intangibles, okay, values, purpose. They might be looking at their culture, okay. So culture, their in work environment, all right. It, it's the environment, but what what do all these things end up to? Okay, like let's think of it like that. What if if a culture, if a business has a really really good culture, all right, has has really really good values, all right. Where where does that end up? How how is that quantified? Okay. Where is it quantified? And the only way you can do that, because if we're looking at um, uh, really inhibiting a way of life and disposing of a way of life, consider the way how a business is disposed of, okay? Now, how do is a business disposed of? It's sold, yes? Now, when it's sold, what, what is the, one of the th- criteria for a business to be valued? Now, it's its goodwill. It's an intangible all right, so everything that is focused from a business in that regards, all right, about the culture that it would generate uh, in gender and to make basically, to temporalise, this is where I'm going with this, okay, to, to the culture, the values, everything that's else, but it's still, it's still viewing its, um, what it does as commercial activity. So therefore it's reduced 
human activity from inherently creative activity to something that's um, economizing and presupposes a, a limited end for itself. It might be presuppose the end for life, but it's the way how life given is the issue. And it doesn't question it to the degree, to the degree that it needs to in order to see beyond aligning. Um, so in the scenario of a consumer market aligning with values, just like it aligns values if you're an employee in the internal marketplace for, for the, your labor. Because there's whole thing within, um, uh, say, human resources or the you know the uh, the internal marketing that a lot of big companies do anyway it's about how they can engender it's not the unique value proposition but it's like the value prop the employee value proposition okay this is what it do but it's the same thing okay it's the same thing they're looking at it but it's the prism that they're looking it's a frame that they look at what they're doing uh compromises what they do compromising in the sense that it's commercial and if you look at the way how just take it to the the nth degree and dispose of the business that all lies up on a balance sheet it becomes an intangible so when a business another prospector actually that wants to buy the business is looking at the value of all that it looks at the intangible of what it is all right that's it that's where it ends up okay so if you're looking at what what are they doing though with a person in the scenario that they are an employee they they got want this person wants to go to work and they're happy about going to work because there's a purpose beyond what the business is doing. I'm not to say that the business can't do good. All right, I know that they can. It's the degree that they can do it is what I'm getting at. Because I'm saying okay, there's a trend in the like there's a trend in the market. It's not a trend in the market. It's just a trend in consciousness. This is what it is. It's this is why if you don't consider it's a trend in consciousness, it's not a trend in the market. It shows up in the market, all right? but it's not beholden to it. And this is the point about it it's to do with life it's the indivisible of life people are a lot more aware of their agency but they've yet to harness it to an end that does justice to their existence this is where i'm going with it okay so i mean if you privy to my other things you obviously would know that with all the bullshit that i crack up uh crap on about so in in the regards to the employee what are they doing all right so if i've said prior about temporalizing place yeah that you're taking the economic good of time uh and you're potentializing it beyond the economic uh, good of time all right the marginal nature and the way i receive our time to potentialize it with other people in a creative thing where what they are doing they know that they're part of enterprise good as the, as the the organization that is wanting to enterprise civilization is wanting to co-create with everybody all right into a cultural phenomenon they know that all right that's why they want to do it because it has meaning they know what they're doing is towards that end it's marginal in the way it's doing it but the the more that people understand what they're doing in the context of the way how this thing emerges, then that they're more understanding of the way how this thing emerges. This is why this is the way how it works. So in the scenario of the, but we're talking it from a business that's not part of enterprise good, but is a, is addressing uh, its employees with intangibles such as its purpose and its values and its culture. They are trying to temporalize place. Okay, they're trying to temporalize place. All right, think of what they're doing. They're trying to temporalize place in a manner that the inhibition towards that place is lessened because when you go there, you're not really considering it as a means. It's it's focusing on harnessing the end, your heart. All right, people, this is the one thing with all business management. They've fucking got no idea about any of this stuff. Why? Because they only think any of the person that is a business consultant is a business consultant. They're not, they're not like me that is like nobody and, and is not a business consultant and actually just thinks about life but then thinks, okay, where's the potential within civilization where people act, where what they can do? Well, it's in business obviously and it's, it's in consumer, consumer markets or in the market or it's people, it's people, it's people. It's everywhere, it's people, it's just people. But it's like, well, what are they doing? How are they limiting by their, their, the dogma that they perpetuate? Well, this is the way how that they limit themselves and the, the manner is that they can't even see something because they're beholden to, to – uh, understanding of of uh, action or the limitation of action in that regards so but they are pr pretty much temporalizing place because they they are working on dis in, uh, disinhibiting you because they're they're harnessing something within you that ultimately has got to do with the want of meaning that everybody wants when like i said that if there is a, a there is a market for the for meaning it's only because meaningless is being engendered in our way of life this is a fucking thing about it 
All right, so they they understand that, but they just don't have the not they don't have the insight to actually look at the cause to understand that what it requires is a wholesale change. So where their change is is only very marginal. So therefore, they make a change. It's all cultural. It's all these things, but it's to preserve it to be an asset. You have to animate create. You have to animate the goodwill that would otherwise be on a balance sheet when you dispose of the asset. All right, if you think if you usurp the goodwill, it's just going to end up on a balance sheet. You animate the goodwill. It doesn't go on the balance sheet anywhere. It will it will go into the the brand or the trust mark of enterprise good. And the only reason why I will go there is because I won't compromise. I'm a fucking I am like all or nothing as far as that goes. It's it's just it's unyielding as far as what I if I'm going to use the word I want for my life to harness, you know, the creative scope of my actions. And I've, you know, when you think about, I don't think, well, does thinking, I've always grappled with, is thinking acting? I mean, I've never actually even thought it to be, and I don't even presuppose that I actually do think, but let's just pretend that I have. My thing is, well, that's what I'm orientated towards. So to engender this, and then for another business to say, hang on, there's a market opportunity that we could use. It's got this idea to the end, the commercial end. Well, fuck that. I'm, I'm not bloody – I wouldn't want that to somebody usurp that. So once again, it just comes back to where is the goodwill. And even that, the marginal goodwill that would be in the enterprise is only there as a placeholder to animate it to the point of making enterprise good eventually redundant because that's the – ultimate goal for this thing it's only as a in the threshold that you have to manage this thing and to i suppose educate in the way how this thing emerges where people you and to to harness the agency that is laid in people in order for it just to be to drop it's you know i think there's a saying of buddha when you cross from one stream to another do you keep on carrying you know your your boat you know when you're on the on the on the land it's probably a bastard either saying but anyway um so in that regard, they're temporalizing uh, place. Right, so if you're looking at it from the aspect of what I'm talking about, of of having an ecosystem of like-minded businesses and they're potentializing people's time beyond the economic good that they do it, so therefore they are potentializing place outside the context of, of the exchange and then couple that in, in with the way how businesses are also orientated towards what. Now, if they are focused on causes... All right, and this is the whole thing where we, when I'm getting at, the difference here is acute. If they're concentrating on causes, those causes are just added as a supplement. If it's if it's oriented towards, it makes business sense because it's con, it's achieving a business objective. Take it on enterprise good, potentializing your time. We have a civilizational enterprise. We're a focus on removing the absolute cause of our way of life that is engendering meaninglessness. We want to engage the full scope of your creativity. So therefore, a business that was engaged in the ento- in the ecosystem of enterprise good, their cause is addressing that, okay? So the person in the business that works for that business, if we're talking about temporalizing place, and that the business is orientated to a cause that that the 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 person that is employed in that business wants to partake of the the difference between what is occurring on the outside so in the consumer market uh, like in inverted commas and in the employee market starts to merge okay so where is it you know you look at the the Venn diagram as it were where you've got the the ex- excluded mid- middle essentially what you're getting is that you've got one circle is the consumer market and the other circle is the the labor market now over time you all you're doing is this merging those circles yes because what you're so what does that mean when you're merging the circles? It means to say that the the permeability of the 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 business compared to the culture that it's helped engender starts to become um, the border starts to become permeable, and the the permeability means to say that you're creating the ability of an itinerant kind of workforce. To ex- workforce in inverted commas because it's more it's more like I said if we're about potentializing. If you're talking about temporalizing place and to temporalize place, you're disinhibiting your way towards you focusing in your heart what you want. You want to give. You want to give. That's what people want to do. They want to give to something greater than themselves. Then the merging of those two is a way that a person is engaging in their heart towards their life. 
in a manner that there's freedom for them to, to start to, to, to follow that where they don't feel that they're constrained in the, in the job that they do. But if you've got the culture that is dynamic now in the sense that you're potentializing this culture that the businesses are also in and, and it's stronger because therefore the culture is not beholden to the business, it's no longer the, an asset of a business and so therefore the goodwill that would otherwise be on a balance sheet is in the culture at large. It starts to become more indivisible. And so whereas we talked about the marginal nature of creativity at the moment that we accept for ourselves, because money is a given, because want is primary, you're starting to see the shift. You can understand the way how it works because you're engaging, engaging the latent creativity that exists within you as a person, as a human being. So in that regards, if want is primary because money is given, it's only... Um, Creativity is primary because your time is given. Uh, now, when it's given, uh, when it's given in a way that it's where you feel that you don't have to be compensated for what you do, then you truly are living from a heart space where life, the beauty of life, the indivisibility of life, doesn't you do not need to be compensated for. Now, how long does it take to that? To work i mean i don't bloody know but you can see if you can see who knows if you can see i got no idea hardly anybody listens to these things anyway so but if you can see that you can see the marginal nature of the way it works the the temp, um, potentializing your time beyond the economic good is a way of potentializing place so you can do it inside the consumer market or in a business i mean a, a employee market or employees the labor market just as much as you can do it in uh, uh, the consumer market and you do that, what you do is that you start to get, like I said, that coherence and you're getting a higher order. Because once again, what is a higher order? It's just removing. It's not, it's not rivalrous. It's, it goes from want and it goes to creativity. It goes from harnessing that heart and, and for a person to be animated towards having meaning in their life beyond what they do. So therefore the legacy of their actions. And ultimately it's got to do with a greater good than your time. This is a whole thing. And you're engendering the world that ultimately you have created or that you are going to bequeath to people that are going to take up that civilization enterprise and then over generations you know we'll never get to see it to the degree that our ancestors uh, will but if we do this then however long it will be um, that, that's what we will bequeath we will bequeath that and I mean God we can't help but think that that's a you would like to think a good thing I mean who knows anyway until next time take care <laughs>